AN OKLAHOMA LAW BANNING CRITICAL RACE THEORY FROM BEING TAUGHT IN OKLAHOMA SCHOOLS IS NOW BEING CHALLENGED IN FEDERAL COURT. THAT LAWSUIT BEING ANNOUNCED THIS AFTERNOON. NEWS FOR US, BRIA BARRY FOLLOWING THE STORY FOR US TONIGHT. BRIA? WELL, KEVIN, THE ACLU SAYS IT FILED A LAWSUIT TO PROTECT THE FIRST AMENDMENT RIGHTS OF OKLAHOMA STUDENTS. IT ALSO CLAIMS CRITICAL RACE THEORY PREVENTS CHILDREN FROM RECEIVING A COMPREHENSIVE EDUCATION. HOWEVER, THE BILL'S ORIGINAL AUTHOR DISAGREES. We are hoping a federal judge will find the law unconstitutional. A group of Oklahoma students and teachers with the help of the ACLU and other organizations filing a lawsuit against a law that bans critical race theory from being taught in Oklahoma schools. We sued not only to protect the First Amendment, but also to protect the integrity of education. To the ACLU says as a result of the bill's passage, school districts have told teachers to no longer use certain terms, including diversity and white privilege. The ACLU also claiming works of literature such as To Kill a Mockingbird and The Raisin in the Sun have been removed from classrooms. However, the bill's original author says the law was not created to stop teachers from teaching history. Instead, it was created to tell students the color of their skin doesn't make them an oppressor or oppressed. Critical race theory is quite literally designed to teach children that they can look at the mirror and determine if they're a racist or a victim. This isn't America. Senator Shane Jett is one of the first to introduce this type of legislation in Oklahoma. He says public hey. schools are paid by taxpayers of Oklahoma and schools should not brainwash you know children to believe they are evil or victims because of their skin color. We have videos from Edmond School District. Edmond Schools telling us they have not seen the videos Senator Jett alleges exist. The bill's author, Representative Kevin West, sending this statement in response to the lawsuit. The law ensures that all history is taught in schools without shaming the children of today into blaming themselves for problems of the past. But the ACLU says the bill is too broad and vague to understand. The organization claims teachers are choosing to stay away from all issues surrounding race and gender issues because of it. We sued to stop those harms as soon as possible and make sure our students are receiving a comprehensive education that includes the entirety of our history. Now, the bill's author told us the legal complaint is full of half-truths and distorts a common-sense bill the vast majority of Oklahomans support.